Yeah, it's up, Austin, the anchor for DOTV. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello Del Oro and welcome to DOTV. I'm Austin Duncan. And I'm Keaton Bass. Today is Tuesday, December 9th. And today on DOTV, we have a look at colleges and our sports update with Jonna. With the price of college rapidly increasing and more students applying to college each year, it's no surprise that colleges are harder to get into than ever before. Keaton and I went to find out more on what makes college so hard to get into. College applications are due, and many students are looking forward to going away. Well, it'll be a whole new experience, a whole different people, hopefully a different state, town, environment, and it's nice to get away from what you're used to. If you look at the bottom part, the blue part, it shows that the number of people that we meet with four-year degrees has hardly changed at all. and so. That's the point. That's what's really important for students to pay attention to, is that it's not the four-year degree that's important as much as it is to get some type of further education. Daniel, has applying to college and getting into college gotten more difficult in recent years? Absolutely, Keaton. Um, with the influx of new students coming to the UCs um, and Cal States and the budget cuts in the state of California, uh, have left the UCs in a very difficult position as well as the Cal States. They, um, they don't have as much money, therefore can't take on as many students, and right now there are more applicants uh, applying to colleges than ever. It's been a lot harder these days to get into college with all the applicants and so many people being smart and going to college. It's a sticky situation, very hard for us to get in. I applied uh, about a month ago, but the deadline was on the 30th waiting March, got into San Francisco State, but um, just waiting next year, pretty excited. Why are there more people applying to college these years? Well, the first answer is because um, there are a lot more people now than there were 50 years ago. It used to be um, you just go to Sierra College and that was that. Now a lot more people uh, live here, a lot more people think that they can get into college, think that they deserve to get into college, that's what we've been told all our lives, is that we have to go to college. Um, the bar's really been raised in schools. Curriculum is a lot harder than it used to be. So um, it seems obvious that everybody wants to go to college. And now uh, you really need a college diploma if you want to go and work in a lot of places. For DOTV, this is Keaton Bass. Despite the increased difficulty of getting into college, Del Oro's great athletics program has been sending athletes across the country. Jonna has our update on sports. Thanks, Austin. Today on sports, we have a look at wrestling, a preview of winter sports, and results of the first games for boys and girls basketball. The wrestling team sent all of the junior varsity wrestlers to the tournament at El Camino last week. The team dominated the tournament with the first string taking first place yet again and the second group taking fifth place. Also, DOTV would like to congratulate Connor Morgan who came back from a knee injury to receive a full ride to UVU for wrestling. The winter sports are still just getting started and anything can happen. Let's go to John for a preview of the winter sports and where they're headed. Wrestling is gearing up for another amazing season to send more people to state, adding on to their 38 state members already sent. They are also preparing to go for their 12th SFL championship in a row since 1990. Boys and girls basketball are looking mighty fine this year, getting ready for their tough SFL schedules. Winter sports are in high anticipation for great seasons this year and are ready to take on anyone, anywhere, and at any time. For DOTV, I am John Medley. 
freshman's girls basketball took second at Lincoln High School tournament last weekend, and the varsity girls won their tournament down in Sonora. Both JV and varsity boys basketball teams beat Valley last week, and will take on Union Mine tonight. Be sure to check out the boys basketball invitational tournament going on all weekend here at Dio. That's all for sports. Back to you guys. And remember, Delaro, I'm Keaton Bass, and you're not. And I'm Austin Duncan, and so are you. Stay tuned for the bulletin.